Hi guys, it's Alex. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. So today I thought I would do a get ready with me using some of my Shop My Stash and Project Pan items. Um, I don't really know how this video is going to go, so hopefully it turns out okay. So let's just jump in and get started. Okay, we're back and my hair is put back. I have my sponge. Hopefully I have all my products. So I'm going to first start with my foundation. It's just the one in my Shop My Stash. It's the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation in the shade 1.3 W. Do a couple pumps of this on my sponge, take my glasses off, and let's hope for the best. So I have my mirror. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this palette today or not, but we'll see. Um, this is my second time trying to film a Get Ready With Me. The first one was a complete disaster. <laughs> um, I was trying to film it after just like my shot my sash in a previous video and it just did not turn out well at all. It took me 25 minutes to do my makeup and it was the worst 25 minutes to look at because I was not like I was going like this like totally forgot like the camera was right there in front of me you know and I don't know it's just not besides just doing that don't mind like I have like a looser and a pair that I didn't grab so if you see that I'm so sorry it's bugging me too but I didn't want to redo my hair. Um what was I talking about? Just how it was just so bad just trying to film it. It was it was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> We're good there. Next, I'm gonna go into my concealers. The concealers are also in my shop my stash, and it's just the Kylie Jenner concealers in bone and stone. I'm just gonna shake these up a bit. These tend to separate pretty easily, but this is kind of a thinner-ish formula. I don't know how our new formula is gonna be. I'm kind of intrigued, kind of not. I haven't watched any reviews of people like reviewing her new stuff that they got. And um, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about buying any of her new stuff. I don't know. Um, I think I might watch some reviews first on it and then maybe go from there. I don't even know if it's technically out yet, honestly. I'm not keeping up with her new updates, but... This concealer is not too bad and I was just mumbling. So I'm gonna let this sit for a sec. Okay, I don't know when I had to cut off. I had to fix my hair. It just like fell out of the hair tie. Um, so I, last I remember I was letting it sit and then I fixed it super, super quick. I like halfway blended one eye. Um, so I just blended in the rest of the concealer and I just take the excess if I have any on my sponge and I go on my forehead and like, my nose and my chin were all blended there so now I'm going to go in where's my product uh with a project pan item the Hollywood flawless filter um youth glow from Charlotte Tilbury I um if you guys didn't watch any previous videos I did put like my Charlotte Tilbury palette in my makeup drawers which I do if my makeup is cruelty free or I consider it cruelty free um I just felt more comfortable putting Charlotte Tilbury's products, like the eyeshadow, back in my drawer because I've seen some people on YouTube that I watch that are cruelty free put it back, like not put it back, um, have them in their drawers and they have a what you know their full cruelty free collection. Wow, I just mumbled a whole lot, and my neighbor's watching me now. So I felt a little more comfortable doing that, and like I mentioned, if I just don't feel comfortable over time. I'm just going to take it back out. So I do have this in my project pan right now. Um, and I'm actually kind of considering taking it out because I really only had it in to try to use it up because at the time I just wasn't really comfortable with Charlotte Tilbury, like in my decision of them being cruelty free or not, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm still deciding. I still have a couple weeks left before my project pan update. As I'm filming this, I have about yeah, about a couple weeks left, a little less than two weeks. Um, so I'm going to make a decision then if I'm going to keep the um, highlighter youth glow product in my project pan. Um, so I just put it on my cheekbones and my forehead and I blended it out, put a little bit on my nose, but I'm really enjoying this product. I really, really do like it. So this is still kind of all over the place, but I guess it's better than my, <laughs> my last one I tried to film. Next, I'm going to go in with the uh, Becca, I can't ever remember, remember the name of this, Light Shifter Finishing Veil in the lightest shade. Um, I do put this just under my eyes. 
So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to try to look in the camera and hopefully this doesn't turn out too bad. And I just put it under my eyes because I have combo oily a little bit more on the oilier side of skin and it just doesn't work pretty much for the rest of my face but my under eyes too didn't do tend to get just a little bit dry. Moving on to set the rest of my face, I'm just gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder that's in my project pan. Um, I've used a good amount of this because I have pretty oily skin and I still feel like, hopefully you can hear me, that I still just have so much product. I mean, I've only been using it consistently for a couple weeks, so I guess that could be why. Whoa, what happened to my brush? Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna get the rest of my I cannot see anything in my camera like I'm looking at my screen like my phone and I'm hoping for the best if I'm being honest okay so now for some extra protection for my oily skin um, since I do tend to get really oily on my chin and my nose I'm going to go back in with the brush I used for the Becca light shifter veil and I'm going in with the covergirl clean matte this is just something I use every day um, pressed yeah, just pressed powder for oil control. And I put a whole bunch of it on my chin. And then I put quite a bit on my nose, especially where my glasses tend to sit. Because this product tends to help, like, not have my glasses, like, move my makeup around as much. Next, I'm going to go in with my Project Pan uh, Bronzer. It's the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 100 Light. And I'm just going to go in. I have to grab a whole bunch on my brush. I'm going to use my mirror. And I kind of blend in circles and then blend upward to get the effect that I like. Um, I'm excited to finish this bronzer. I still have such a long, I have quite a long way to go with using it. I've been seeing like the rim of the pan for a while, but I still haven't hit pan. But I'm kind of hoping in the next few months to actually have a small pan on it. We'll see. I'm pretty determined to use this product up. Especially because I feel like I have to use so much of it at one time. Like each time I put on my makeup, I feel like I have to use so much of it. Which is kind of annoying. Um, like I mentioned before, this one, like I just, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't work for me as like a bronzer. Like I feel like I just have to put a whole bunch on my brush, which is fine. It does build up pretty quick to what I want and I know that you're not really supposed to do like a warm contour on your nose but I do such like a loose loose I do such like barely nothing to my nose but I feel like if I don't put anything on my nose it just looks odd um I have used the KVD contour powder a couple times for my nose but um it's something I do want to start using every day but I I keep forgetting I have like a few staple items I use every day, like my CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder and my Milani SPF BFF Primer, which by the way, I forgot to, I did prime before I started filming. Um, I did use the Fenty Primer today because I unofficially put that in my project pan. Uh, that's an update for when I actually have my project pan. Get a little bit of the excess just down here. Because Fenty is not considered cruelty free, their status has been in the gray area for quite some time if I'm not mistaken. Um, anyways, next I'm gonna go in with the KKW Beauty Blush in Grace. This is actually, the the day I'm filming this is the last day that KKW's site will be up before they shut down and rebrand. Um, but I gotta say, this blush, I don't believe it's available anymore. I checked, um, where's my brush? Go. I checked this morning, actually, because I got an email saying like, last day, and I didn't see this blush anywhere on it, but it's such a pretty blush, I love it. A little bit definitely um, can go a long way. I like to do a light amount of this because since I do have the combo oily skin and it does have that reflect that I didn't see like in my collection video because I didn't really use, I only used it like once I think um, when I um, filmed that video um, where I said there's supposed to be like gold shimmer in there and I didn't like see anything but when I put it on the skin there's this light sheen to it and it's just such a pretty color. I have to be careful because the actual like product like pops out like they didn't glue it well but it's such a pretty color I love it so much I've used this I have to like try to stop myself from using this because I've been using it so much 
since I started this new round, like, rotation for Shop My Sash. I just, I love it. Just a little bit on my nose. Nothing crazy. I don't even know if that does anything when I do do that. <laughs> it's just so pretty. I love it. I'm happy I have other colors similar to this because I am going to be sad if I, like, do completely finish this up, which I'm kind of planning on it. Like, I already, I don't know if you guys can see, but you can already see, like, my brush marks in there. That's how much I've used it. I love it. It's not pressed super hard, so I feel like it's something I could get through fairly quickly. Hopefully that's enough blush. Um, for highlight, I did put on the Charlotte Tilbury, but there's, sometimes I feel like that's enough, but there's other days where I don't just a little bit more of a glow, so I am going to just go in with my Shop My Sash. KKW Glitz and Glam Highlight, which I also enjoy. Where's my highlighter brush? Here it is. Which I also really enjoy. Um, this one is not super intense in my opinion. And even though it is pretty golden, it work I feel like it works for my skin pretty well. I don't know. I really enjoy it. So I just put it on my cheekbones and like on my forehead. Kind of where I put like the Charlotte Tilbury Youth Glow. I put it on my cheekbones, on my forehead. And a little bit, like, tiny bit on my nose just to kind of put a little bit more shine. Which I know for some days definitely does not help my oily skin. But it's okay. Sometimes I want to look extra glowy. So, done with highlights. What should I do next? I probably should just do my eyes. Yeah, so I didn't bring my CoverGirl lid lockup up. I brought my What's in My Project Pan, my Benefit Boing Industrial Strength Concealer, which I use for my... Um, eyelid primer sometimes um just try to use this up too I feel like I've made a little bit of progress in that product as well so when you see my project pan update um hopefully there'll be a little bit of a difference I do enjoy this one a lot on my eyelids um just because it kind of works exactly like a eye primer but it's for me it's not you know as tacky as some eye primers like the covergirl one for me, it's pretty tacky, which I don't really like, so I've learned that I have to remember to set that one before I actually start using any eyeshadow, because then my eyeshadow just gets stuck in one spot, and it's just hard to kind of blend it out. In this one, um, certain shadows I do need to make sure I set before I start using um, anything, but um, like when I use my Tropic palette... That's in my shop my stash as well, but I'm not going to use today since I did use it just yesterday, actually. I don't even have to set this at all. I can just go right in because it's just smooth and such a nice formula that Natasha Denona has. I think we're blending it out hopefully okay enough. Now for eyeshadow, I know I have my Going Coconuts, but I also brought up my Single Shadows and my ColourPop Quad in Citrus Fizz. I'm not really sure what I want to do. I feel like I should just use Going Coconuts. I think I'm going to do that. Since I don't know how the Going Coconuts will work if I just go right away with on the concealer, I'm going to set it just real fast. Oh my god, I saw something behind me. Oh my gosh. I've been, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of paranormal and like true crime stuff and so that is not helping me. I'm just going to go into the shades Kulata and Lovely Bunch. Kulata and Lovely Bunch. Yeah lovely bunch. Just gonna mix those two together. I used this palette once before and I do like it. This is only my second, second? I think it's only my second time using it. Um, and I can see why people like it. I know I need to give it a little bit more of a chance before I have like my final opinions, but from like a first impression, I guess, when I did use it um, a few days ago is that I don't know if these like, I, I don't know what it is because usually like neutral tones with like any eye color looks great, but I feel like with my, like, blue eyes, it's not the right, like, tones of, like, brown. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy. I definitely need to give it more of, like, a chance before I have, like, a super, like, final, final thoughts on it, but I do like it a lot. It is really pretty. I mean, it could have just been that look I did that one day because I used this palette when I was trying to film after my Shot My Sash video and... Like I mentioned, that did not turn out well at all. So maybe that's why. Maybe it was just a bad a bad kind of just makeup experience all around. Because I did have some issues with some other products, which I wasn't expecting. So maybe that's why. 
And also I used the lid lock up and then I just put this on without setting it. So that could have also been a thing. But with this concealer and then setting the concealer with um, another eyeshadow beforehand, I'm actually really liking it. So I might have to take all that back. I don't know. Um, I'm just blending it out a lot just in case to make sure it's all good. And I think it is. Um, I think I'm actually going to go with, a. I usually just do like, a shade or two in my crease and then I put on like a shimmery shade but I think I'm actually going to deepen the outer corner just like a teensy bit just a teensy bit to give it a little bit more definition I'm just gonna use this other Milani little tiny brush I got in this trio and I think I'm going to go I'm going to try shell yeah sorry you can see everything shell yeah and see how that goes because I feel like nutty might just be a little too dark with what I'm trying to go for right now let's see and when I do do like outer corner, like sh lid shades, I just kind of pack it on and then I blend it out afterwards. Kind of get what I'm looking for. I don't like anything like too dramatic. I just like something super subtle, which I usually need to make a little bit more dramatic after I put on like a shimmer shade because the shimmer can take over. What I'm thinking of doing is that I know I just started like doing the Shop My Stash and Project Pan and all that. I don't even know if you can even see a difference. I don't know. Um, next, I'm going to go in with Coco Crust, which is just the center shade. Um, I know that I did just start the Shop My Stash and the Project Pan stuff, and I just started my YouTube channel and everything. And I haven't done a makeup roundup video yet, which I'm planning on doing, um, where I count like everything I have in my collection and then add everything up at the end and kind of go from there with my makeup collection. But... Um, I have so many palettes like I counted them I have this is embarrassing I have 80 something palettes which is crazy for just an average person and I know that doing the shop my stash is just not going to cut it for me wanting to use all of my eyeshadows or like rotate through them better so I'm kind of thinking of um doing like a separate like, I'll still have eyeshadow palettes in my Project Pan, but I'm going to have other palettes that I'm going to focus on. And I'm going to have, like, usage goals on them. I know there's other people on YouTube that do something like this. And I actually got the idea from Chic Geek. Um, I'll link her down below, actually. She's really fun to watch. I really like her videos. Oh, that looks nice. I think I'm just going to deepen the outer corner just a little bit more. Where's that brush I just used? I just used it. Oh, here it is. Um, I actually watched a whole bunch of her videos doing it where she has, is it a hundred uses or 50 uses? I don't remember, but I watched her videos and she does updates. I don't know. It depends. Sometimes it's every couple months. Sometimes it's every like four months or every here and there and stuff. And I'm kind of thinking of doing that. We'll see. We'll see. I'm still kind of on the fence since I did just start project panning and shot my sash and everything. But it's something I've been thinking about a lot. Um... Oh, I still need my mirror. What am I doing? But next up, I'm actually going to do my eyebrows before I just go back to my eyes. I actually really like how that eyeshadow palette turned out. It had to be maybe the lip lock up and me not. Um, I you literally just used this word like five, ten minutes ago. Setting. I, and me not setting that primer probably caused it to just look a little wonky, but I'm actually... I think I take back everything I said. It looks really good. Um, next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I have two products I brought up with me, and they're both fairly new in my... That's loud. Both fairly new in my collection. I have the ColourPop Brow Boss in Taupe, and then I have the Jason Wu Brow Before Boys, and I've used both, and I enjoy both, but I don't know which one I want to use today. I think I'm going to go with ColourPop. I think I'm going to go with ColourPop today. So I'm going to use, it is, like I mentioned, the ColourPop Brow Boss in the shade, it's the taupe, right? Yeah, I did my eyebrows today and I did not do a good job shaping them. So my <laughs> this eyebrow is longer than this one, I think. I think I overplugged just a little bit on this one. I don't know. Um, this is my first video I'm filming today. Out of the few that I'm hoping I can film. I don't know. So if my eyebrows look like this one's longer than this one, if you watch this video, then you'd know why. <laughs> okay I'm going now I'm going to set with the 24-hour brow setter from Benefit which is in my shop my sash which I put in for another 
two weeks. My nose is so itchier here. Which I put in for another two weeks because I don't really use it the first round and I haven't really used it yet this round. I have a hard time finding eyebrow products that I actually like setting my eyebrows with because my eyebrows are a little bit like, I have fairly full eyebrows and I, oh my gosh, I put too much on and they're pretty like coarse, like as weird as that sounds. Where is my, here it is. I'm just going to brush through one more time. Um, they are just a little bit more coarse than I feel like some other people's eyebrows. So for me, it's really hard to find an eyebrow product that just like sets my brows the way I want to. Actually, I'm going to film a video of like a wish list of things I'm interested in. And I have a brow product that I'm interested in that I want to try. But I will... You guys will have to wait until that video is up. So now I'm just going to... Um, Put this on my waterline wow uh the ColourPop gel cream liner and honey dude i found this one for a little while too but i really just started to use it and let's see if i can do this i'm gonna have to go off camera to do this um and i enjoy it a lot i do like that it's i don't notice anything huge with making my eyes like look bigger or whatever but i do like the effect it does give so i'm gonna do this off camera and i'll be right back and now i'm going to go in with mascara i'm going to curl my lashes so for mascara i have my two project pan items oh before i do my mascara i need to um where's that brush uh finish my bottom lash line there we go so i'm just gonna go in with the first two shades i started with culotta and lovely bunch and just kind of i should have done this first and then done honey dude but Just to kind of complete the look, just a nice subtle. I don't know, I feel like if I don't put anything on my bottom lash line, I just look silly. Even if I do something super, like, I can barely see it, like, right now. I don't know, I feel like it's just, in my mind, it just looks more, like, complete. Now I'm going to go with my mascara, and I'm going to go in with my Project Pan mascaras. The Lori La... The L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. Um, I really don't like this mascara. I I despise this mascara. It's just not a formula I like. I haven't heard anyone talk badly about this, but I just, I can't, I don't like it at all. I just don't like how it makes my eyelashes look at all. And it just gets so like clumpy and stuff on my wand. Ew. I feel like this is a great mascara if you want that length. Which I feel like my eyebrows are a good, my eyebrows, my eyelashes, I like the length of my eyelashes. I feel like they're long enough, so I like don't, I don't know. But I did want to try it like, you know, when I did got, get this. I cannot talk. Every time I film, I can't talk. Um, but I did want to get this to try it out when I, before I decide to film cruelty free. And I just, mm -mm. and I have a hair that keeps hitting my eye. I don't know. And I just got a whole chunk of it. What? Ew. I don't know if you guys ever seen anyone dislike a mascara so much. But here I am. I just got like a whole glob of it. On my edge over here. Like I feel it. Ew. So I just got a big glob on my like eyelash over here and like I felt it and I went to like clean it off and like oh my gosh. Like I can't, st I don't know if you guys can see that well, but like I, I hate, like I don't like using the word hate. I hate this mascara. I just don't like how it makes my eyelashes look. Like, mm mm. Not for me. Um, I'm just gonna go in quickly with the Lori Lau, Lori, oh my gosh, I cannot talk. The L'Oreal Voluminous Hydrofuge Mascara, which if I had to choose between these two, I would definitely just pick this one, but I can't ever open it. It's so hard for me to open, but this is just kind of what I like more in a mascara, like formula wise. And like the wand, I guess is just a little different. I don't know. I should just use this one today on my top and bottom. I'm going to get mascara everywhere. It is not a good mascara day, but um, a perk about glasses is that it can cover some of that up. <laughs> um 
last thing I need to do is my lips. I didn't bring a setting spray. I don't think I'm going to use one today. I don't really want to go back. Oh my gosh, it's all over my hand. I don't really want to go back downstairs to my makeup and grab one. And also I already put on mascara and I don't like putting on setting spray after mascara. But for lips, I'm actually going to use a lip liner today on a rare occasion. I don't really like using lip liners just because I feel like sometimes I just don't need it. I don't know. But I do like like I did this uh yesterday with my makeup and I liked the combo that I did have so I'm gonna do it again today hoping it will look good with this look it's just the Colourpop lippy pencil and the BFF shade a shade that's like one of their classic shades if I'm not mistaken so I'm just gonna uh outline my lips and I'll be right back my lips were so dry today so I did kind of outlined some of my lips and filled in just a little bit. I look a little silly. Next, I'm going to go in with the Almay Go Wild Matte Lipstick. And this is in my Shop My Stash. I'm going to see this real quick. So this is how it looks so far. And then I'm going to go in with a gloss. And it's just the Friends and Makeup Revolution collab. And it's just like the super nude one of the Phoebe shades, the more uh, nude one. And there we have it. Hopefully it looks good with this look. It looked good with what I did yesterday, which I used my ColourPop Sorbet. No, my gosh, I used the Tropic palette yesterday. I used more like the pinkier shades. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna put on my glasses and then we'll finish up this video. Okay, guys, that's the finished look. I do like it a lot. I do like that combo I use of the lip products. Um, I just need to find a new nude lipstick to kind of, if I do like doing this often once I finish this one, since this is not cruelty free, I do need to find a replacement for that, but I do love how that turned out. I think it looks pretty good with this look. Um, my mascara is all on my hand still. I've not washed it off yet. I'm gonna do that once I'm done filming this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would mean so, so much. And please comment. I do want to talk to you guys. So stay happy out there. Be positive. Bye guys. I just realized I finished filming this video with lipstick on my teeth. That's cute. Okay. Bye guys. There's a hummingbird. I think that might've been the hummingbird I saw the other day. There's a bush, like my house is like on a hill and there's a bush um, by my door. And there's just a little hummingbird eating from the flowers. This is actually the end of the video now. Bye, guys!